what is a police report for if a company like Eagle Parking can just disregard it completely? But that's exactly what one parking company is doing, refusing to pay for damage done in a fender bender involving their valet. And I was waiting to park my car, and while I was waiting, uh, Eagle Parking's valet driver backed another customer's car into, my, into the rear of my car. Alessandra Ribeiro called the police, and they took a report. But since the collision occurred on private property, they couldn't issue the car jockey a citation. But according to the incident report, it was evident who was to blame. The Atlanta police made it very clear to us that the driver, the valet driver, scored an 18, which essentially means he was at fault. You scored a 1, which essentially says you were in your car. That's all you were doing. The valet's employer disagreed, denying the police's version of the report. There are two conflicting statements from each driver of each vehicle, and there are no witnesses. There is no statement stating driver one is at fault. It, there's a, there's an X by the suspect at fault. Suspected at fault. Really? Suspected? That's not what the police department told us. They said based on their investigation, driver one, the valet, is at fault. But instead of taking responsibility, the parking company is having Miss Robiero jump through as many hoops as possible to get her car repaired by the parking company's insurance carrier. It is legal, but it's horrible customer service and a terrible public relations move. I find it very dishonest and frustrating. What do you think about a company that can treat people that way? I don't think it's a company that should be in business. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing. We're, we're disappointed with their reaction so far. In fact, we're so disappointed that Trustdale is going to cover your deductible so oh. that you can get your car fixed. Thank you. You're very welcome. The lesson learned? Do what she did. Always insist on getting a police report, regardless of whether the other driver tells you he'll cover the damages. It's the only way you can protect yourself from being stuck with your repair bill.